There's a D and D tavern in Edinburgh. That I, I, I might go to that. I keep getting that advertised. Is that the one with the giant dice and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I so keep getting that advertised. That's so wait, is it not away. in Edinburgh? Then? I thought I thought it was getting. No, it's in Edinburgh. Because every time I look at it, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome, but it's a bit far for me. I wonder why it's advertising it to you. I don't know. Maybe it's because of you. Maybe it's your fault. Well, I very recently did a furry game show. I I really like the the furry community's hilarious approach to self IDing as cringe. I think that's I think that's very funny. There are a lot of furry pilots. Every now and then she'd say something and I'd feel like a fucking alien or like 80 years old. She was talking about this actor, you know, that was on set with us and she's like, oh, and have you seen the video where he dropped the thingy? And I'm like, what did he drop? He dropped the, and I'm like, in my head, I'm like trying to process what, what could this mean? Slowly through context, I worked out that she was talking about like a dance move. <laughs> it's the TikTok language, is it? It's the TikTok stuff, yeah. I made a TikTok, I posted like one thing and then a child followed me and I got scared and I deleted the app. <laughs> <laughs> Give Jasper a TikTok. Maybe account. Jasper should have a TikTok. Maybe that will help me get over my fear of. He's TikTok. young. He, he's young. I'm stuck. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, I crawl my way out. <laughs> oh my god, that was scary. Actually, that. Okay, I'm staring in the dragon's bum hole. It doesn't look like an actual hole. I believe you're right. We both trialed it by spraying water into the dragon's bum hole. This does make me want to go out and like do activities. I haven't been out to do a thing for ages. You know, get out, get out the like hose and clean, your, clean the front yard of your house. Ugh, no. Oh, I had to take in my completely dead hanging basket yesterday. I've never seen a plant more dead. It was horrific. Oh, you killed another one. Just the one. Just the one. Well, no, I did kill a plant in my last flat, but that was, that was ages ago. That's the yeah. first plant I've killed in this house. And it's because I bought it right before the frickin' heat wave. Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it. And then it just... It, I was so focused on keeping myself cool by staying inside that I didn't... Uh, I didn't remember that watering the plants outside was a thing. And it died. It died horribly. Come on, buddy, you're not clean enough yet. Like yeah, it's all the little joint parts that give you problems in this game. Those little sneaky insides. Oops. Oh, all the white bits is actually graffiti that's to get washed off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's been up to no good in here. Bloody youths and their graffito. Graffitol. Who would graffiti I told you, I, I told, I told you how the fantasy of graffiti got ruined for me, did I? Uh, no, I don't think so. Alright, so, you know when you see, like, really good graffiti, you're like... And it's, like, somewhere obscure, like, it's, like, like on a bridge overhanging a railway or something. You're like, yeah. damn, you know, graffiti ninjas, you know, they come out, and, you know, some godforsaken hour of the night, they sneak over, and they do this really efficient... You're about to ruin this for me as well. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when I was working in Bristol, <laughs> we were finishing up, and we just pulled down the uh, covers for the window, mm -hmm. and we were cleaning up, and we just suddenly heard a spray painting noise from outside, and we looked out, and there they were at like 6 o'clock, like straight after work is finished, spray painting the front of our, uh, our office, and we were like, no, stop. Go away, <laughs> and they got into a big argument with us. Oh my gosh! And I'm just sitting there going like, but no, graffiti artists are meant to be like ninja. You're meant to be like art ninjas. You're not meant yeah. to start arguments with people about you tagging their bloody um, off workplace. You're meant to sneak in and do it at a point where no one can, you know, spot yeah. you and vanish. And I'm just like. And then when I realised that, I started looking around, I suddenly realised, oh yeah, I can spot all the graffiti artists now around Bristol. Because they're the ones who are blatantly walking around with their spray cans out and just looking for walls. And like, they're doing it during the day and like, Wait. two o'clock in the afternoon. And it ruined my fantasy. That's sad. And, like, my, my respect for graffiti artists kind of dropped. I had this whole commando image in my head that's now ruined. Yeah, me too, because I don't think I've ever seen anyone doing graffiti. I've just seen it, and so I also assumed that they were just ninjas. 
That is that sad. Yes. I believe this. Yeah. Turns out they can be just simply assholes. I guess try so. They beat you up if you try to stop them attacking your building. Well, I imagine arguing about that. Like, what? But it's a li like the business owner could just call the police and then you just. Like, I don't understand why you do anything other than just like run away. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, the, I respect. I, just, I don't know. I kind of respect the idea of an artist who's sneaky. Yeah. Uh, I mean, isn't that like the how watch call him? Oh, what's, what's his name? Famous Banksy. Banksy? Kind of sells himself, isn't it? Because it's like yeah. no one knows who he is and his stuff just appears. I mean, can you imagine that you got into an argument with Banksy when he's tagging your fucking house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be quite the same, would it? It'd ruin the magic no. a little bit. Yeah. The idea is meant to be the mystery, isn't it? Well, no. Yeah. I think that's part of it. Yeah. This is going to be the weirdest video you've ever put out on your gaming channel, you know that. Yeah, but, you know... <laughs> the, the three people that watch it are going to be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is the most informative video you've ever had about Emma. They'll have all facts about your personal life now. And then all sorts of things. Uh, childhood holiday locations. Our feelings on graffiti. Uh, <laughs> all sorts of useful information. Yeah. Just so, just so we clarify what well, at the video three or so in. We were meant to be doing Escape Academy, but for some reason it does not work on my computer. I do not know why. Yeah, that's sad. We should look that up later, see if we can find out what's going on. I've had, like, I only started using the Xbox PC thing recently, like the Microsoft yeah. Xbox PC thing. Uh, but I've had a couple of weird issues with it, just because of the way it makes you log in. You have yeah. to sort of, like, attach games to your Xbox account in a slightly weird way. I think that's how they keep track of who to give money to terms of like, well done! Yeah, yeah, probably. Oops. I mean, in general, I've basically gotten access to a load of games that I probably wouldn't have otherwise played, so I'm happy with it. Mm. You've got to get yeah, around the coins it, here. Okay. It's a good service. I mean, I love people describe it as like Netflix for gaming. Mm. And I get, I get that, and I, I kind of like Netflix for gaming. There's a lot of shit that I would not, wouldn't normally watch. That the, the the ease of it just made me go like, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna play it. Yeah, exactly. And... Gonna clean Excalibur real quick. <coughs> yeah. Wait, this is Excalibur. It's yellow. Him right. It's the piss sword. The piss sword of destiny. Well, what color is that Excalibur meant to be? No, silver. Usually, pictures and TV and stuff is usually silver. What's your favorite? You ever? Because so here's the thing: being Irish, we we I grew up with like the myths of Colin and Fionn and so on, Irish kind of mythological heroes. Uh -huh. What's it actually like growing up with King Arthur when you get all these kind of adaptations of it and stuff? Like, no one ever adapts Irish mythology, so I never have to worry about seeing, like, 30 different versions of Cullen. I have the version I grew up with and pretty anime, anime boy Cullen, and that's it. Mm. Uh, uh, but you've got, like, cool. King Arthur. I you mean, have a uh, I, like... Again, I grew up in uh, the south, sort of on the south coast, uh, near a lot of castles and stuff, and uh, near some of the sites that are like, oh, there's like a gap in history here that some people attribute to like King Arthur and those legends sort of fit in here and blah blah blah. Um, uh, it, I lived near a rumoured site where there was a round table that was like, oh, it's rumoured that this is the round table um, and stuff like that, which makes for kind of cool like, you know, attractions and stuff. Um, I mean, I was... <laughs> like the worst favorite that i could say but i'm a sucker for merlin i freaking love merlin about the tv series yeah okay that was, that was a fun show and matt worked on the uh the finale oh um but yeah there's there's all those legends are, are pretty fun uh the only thing that's weird and sort of frustrating is when it's it's so deeply entrenched in the culture that you get people that sort of assume it's true 
and yeah, then and you get those, that's... You get those movies that try to make it true, where they're like, oh, one of you was like a Roman. Yeah. I think it was that Arthur film from years back, where he was like a Roman uh, centurion or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah there's, there's some cringe stuff. Um, I guess you get that with any legend. Oh, there's so many little bits, like in the rags of the rocks. This is a nightmare. Oh, yes! I mean, what? did the rocks! Ha ha! Hey. Is there okay. actually, like, an original myth? Or. Because. So, there's King Arthur. Uh -huh. Knights around him on Camelot. Yeah. And gets the sword. This is fun now. This is from someone who's literally. All, his knowledge of, of the King Arthur myth is entirely from popular media adapting it. So. Uh huh. He gets. He pulls the sword from the rock. Yeah. Originally, or so. Well, what's what's the lake then? The lady in the lake thing. Yeah, the lady in the lake gives him the sword. Um. So what what's the whole pulling from the rock thing then? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it, so we can <laughs> learn while we while we wash. <laughs> the actual proper King Arthur myth. I or think is isn't Arthur. King Arthur like a Welsh myth like originally? Or am I mixing that? Well, I might be mixing that with something else. I'm not sure. But yeah, Lady of the Lake is part of the, the Arthurian legend. Is it somebody yeah. else who pulls the sword from the stone? Yeah, that is King Arthur, isn't it? Yeah. Because well, that's the Disney version. Because that's Sword and Stone, Disney. So is that just Disney? And not actually in the original myth at all? Assumptions that a historical Arthur led Welsh resistance to the West Saxon advance from the Middle Thames are based on a conflation of two early writers. The religious polemicist Gildas and the historian Nennius. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is more like who the real King Arthur is, not like what is the actual myth everybody runs off. Everything runs off, or is those are early, is, or is, or... early Welsh literature made Arthur into a king of wonders and marvels, and then I think they just sort of <laughs> combined other heroes from stories. I need a less complicated uh, website to explain it to me. It's just spraying the, the chest. <laughs> is the chest done off? yet? Is it, is it oh, pinged? It's, it's... No, it still hasn't. That's the worst part. <laughs> right, I'm on history.com. Now the chest is done. I heard the ping. Okay. I'm going to fire my thing in a new direction. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button again. I'm doing that. Uh, yeah, da, da. Okay. <laughs> okay, he, d he doesn't appear in the only surviving contemporary source about the Saxon invasion. Arthur appears for the first time in the writings of Nennius, who gave a list of 12 battles the warrior king supposedly fought. Ah, uh, but the battles were all drawn from Welsh poetry, and they couldn't have been real. Oh, yeah, I don't doubt. It. I don't think he's real. I was just wondering, like, yeah. what is the actual original fable of sorts? That... Okay. In the popular 12th century book History of the Kings of Britain, Geoffrey of Monmouth wrote the first life story of Arthur, describing his magic sword Caliburn, later known as Excalibur, this trusted knight Lancelot, Queen Guinevere, and the wizard Merlin. Ah. An irresistible blend of myth and fact, the book was supposedly based on a lost Celtic manuscript that only Geoffrey was able to examine. So he just like made up a story and was like, "Yeah, this is this is real." Also, it's Celtic involved, so there's a bit of Irish in there. Yeah, a little bit. So there you go. It's a bit of a that like, gives me like Mormonism vibes. <laughs> it's like Joseph Smith vibes. Only I can read the story. Trust you. Trust yeah, but at least bro. he didn't try to turn it into a religion. He didn't turn it like yes. Yeah, no. Just uh, <laughs> yeah, this guy was a, this guy was a great king. Trust. It's basically the 12th century version of the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> I like, um, there was a... Oh, what's it called? There's a conspiracy that uh, a, a massive period of history is, like, fake. And that there was, like, yeah. something else going on. That's kind of the vibe I get from the King Arthur thing. Like, they're like, oh, we're not sure about this little period of history, so what if it was this? And it's expanded to the point where you're like, oh, that, well, that contradicts actual written known history, though. It's like, yeah, but it's cool. It's cool. It's well, there are periods of history where all records on it are 
spotty at best. Oh yeah, yeah. I know there are think... periods of history where the popular belief on it is so entrenched that yeah. even though we've like, yeah, we've revisited this and it, it, it doesn't work like this, people won't accept it. Yeah, especially when it's so ingrained, right? Yeah, yeah like the whole thing with the Ro with Romans in particular. Uh, when you come to thinking like, yeah, all those statues that you're also fondly proud of, the white marble and stuff. Yeah, they're yeah, they all like, colored. Yeah. yeah, they're all like really colorful and you know, the Roman culture was a bit more colored in general than the kind of image yeah. everybody kind of runs with. Buildings and, and people, stuff, yeah. And people absolutely freaked when that conversation came up. Mm. I mean, it just nope. makes sense, doesn't it? Like, of course, that would be lost to time. And people just don't like having their existing views sort of challenged. But then that's it's part like, of what's interesting about history, isn't it? It's learning things yeah. we didn't know before. It's like that picture of a hippopotamus. Um, there's a good meme that goes around of um, a picture of a hippopotamus and then say, like, if someone only saw the skeleton, this is what they would think the creature looked like. Oh, yeah. And, then, and it's like some kind of crazy alien looking thing. And then it's like, this is what it actually looks like. It's a hippo. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Hello. That's a like, good one. Yeah. It makes you think. It makes you think. It does. It does. I've just noticed that this windmill is made of swords. It's taken me this long to realise that this is the swords <laughs> from the other thing. Is that the developer being kitschy with the area, or is the developer being lazy? lazy Maybe they didn't have one? a. <laughs> they didn't want to make a windmill. <laughs> Stick all the swords together. Which is it? Which is it, kitschy or? We'll assume it's like a cute aesthetic thing. Look at these tiny yeah. little houses. Oh, I love tiny houses. Oh, you were building tiny rooms a while back, weren't you? I threw my tiny room away. Oh, what It happened? was so bad. Like, when I was building it, at the start it was going, felt good. And then I realized that I built the front, like, door wall backwards. Like the, I'd like, you know, pasted the brick bit. Well, I pasted it on the right side, but it was supposed to be the outside, and I like glued it in, you know, the wrong way around. Um, and then I was really proud of myself for the wiring. I did like the electrical lights, and it all three were working at the start when I tested it. And then by the time I'd put it all into the building together, only one of them was working, and it just was a mess. And also, like, it's hard to get because it was it was supposed the point was supposed to be that it was like you know. Uh, my sort of childhood space, what, my dream room when I was a kid, what would I have loved to have, what's some of the key stuff that I had as a kid that would, you know, go in there. So, um, trying to find that kind of stuff, it's quite specific, um, so a lot of it didn't really fit in this tiny room. Um, so I got, uh, I went on the Sylvanian Families website and just got one of their buildings and it works much better. It's, it's much, much better. And it fits the stuff in it. It's got like a... I need to like film it eventually um, so I can actually show. But I got like a little <laughs> Tiny Doll's House arcade cabinet. A little Hello Kitty arcade cabinet. Got like a pink electric guitar from uh, like I had when I was a kid. Although that was so big that it pokes out the ceiling, which looks a little bit odd. But you just have to suspend your delete disbelief a little bit in the house. Any little pink laptop. It's very cute. Yeah, I'm not so good at building the miniatures, it turns out. I love the idea of them. I always really wanted to do the, like, Star Trek ship miniatures that you can get and then paint and stuff, but I think I would just, like, the second I painted something a little bit wrong, I would hate myself. Uh, yeah, and that would be I'm, it I'm over. kind of the same with Airfix. I mm -hmm. keep buying Airfix models because I like airplanes. I'm like, I'm going to build airplanes. And then I either never do it or I start and I do such a bad job, I feel depressed and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like, like, uh, I've done quite a few, like, 3D puzzles and stuff where it's like, you can't fuck it up <coughs> because you're not doing any of the designing. You just put it together. And then you uh, have, like, I wonder, a cute... I wonder if there's, like, an Airfix simulator game out there. Oh, probably. There's got to be, right? I'm going to have to have a look for that later. Like, that'd be great practice to build up my confidence before I actually risk ruining another Airfix model. I mean, the point of them is to, to build them and have fun, right? So I don't know how much you can ruin them. This little knight. Aww. 
This fully looks like one of the like shitty play park things that I would have gone to as a child. You know, like to sort of climb on, like this would be a big climbing thing instead of a mini golf course. What's the, um, god, there's a specific place I'm thinking of that just has like little, it's just like the forest and then throughout they've just got little like wooden shit to climb on for kids and to climb through and stuff. You've forgotten what the place is called. They've got one of those, uh, like high rope tree top walking things as well. Uh, Go Ape, that's what it's called. Oh, that sounds familiar. I, I do remember seeing something called Go Ape. I've never done one of those. They also do, my mum and I were really tempted for a while. Um, to do like a, in those places they also do like Segway riding things. Where you just like ride a Segway around a little course. That sounds like fun, but also kind of stupid. Yeah, I have I have a memory from when I was a kid. Uh, my aunt and uncle took me and their kids to some lake in Wicklow in Ireland, mm -hmm. where basically they built like a wooden play park over the lake. So you go swimming. Oh, but cool. basically, you can climb out of the the uh, lake at any point onto the wooden frame and go swinging on the ropes, and jump in, do little jumps into the lake again. Ah, that's awesome. So I, that's what I remember, and I don't know if it was like that, but I just remember it being like that. I'm just mm -hmm. like, I do not remember the name of this place or where it was or anything, but I just remember it being this mental. Ooh, look at all those things. Stuff like that um, always seems bigger and cooler in your kid memory. Yeah. I find a lot of the time you go back to those places in, as an adult and you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wasn't, it wasn't was that. basically like a wooden platform in the middle of the lake and that was it. <laughs> you, just, yeah. you just remember it being bigger because you just recently watched Waterworld. Uh, and also you were smaller at the time. Yeah. I, um, my like local swimming pool when I was a kid used to do this like fun day Sunday thing. I think it was like once a month or something, I can't remember. But it was basically like uh, there would just be big like bouncy castle things on the water. So you would just like do a bouncy like a bouncy castle sort of house thing, uh, clambering over stuff, and then when you would fall out, you'd fall into the water, and that was really fun. Yeah. That does sound like fun. The problem being that it's a local public school, so it's full of horrible children that are fighting over the the floaties and the space, you know. Oh, you're lucky to get a good floaty when all the kids are out. Oof. Yeah, it's the problem with lots of activities in the world is other people. Other people. They really ruin everything, don't they? <laughs> One day I will be so rich that I can rent my own pool or floaty afternoon. And then find out that it's actually quite shit. Especially Play if you're on your own. own. Yeah. this? Oh, it's the golf clubs. Can we pick these up? No. That was wishful thinking. Then we already know the course doesn't work, so I don't know what I was I don't know what I was hoping for there. I do want to kind of take the ball and see if it does roll down this thing, though. I, like, I, I almost want to just put it in the holes, just to see if it will be like, way. Probably not, but... Well, we can do it. When we get to the end, we'll walk around the course. And... So let's you walk around. Yeah, we should do a... that would be a celebratory wander around our achievement. I wonder how this got so dirty. I feel like there's a story behind this. I mean, the graffiti makes sense, but the graffiti is like under three layers of dirt. I mean... To get that kind of dirt on it, what what would you what would you need to have happen? Like it's a rain for like, or a volcano it's like erupted nearby? Charcoal rain. It... Yeah, or a volcano. Yeah, a volcano erupted nearby and just flooded everything with ash. Yeah, it could be. Like charcoal rain or something. Uh... Acid rain. <laughs> Acid rain would be very bad. Won't be long the way the climate's changing now. There oh. we go. We, that was done. grandma voice, but we're doing well, aren't we? Yeah, we're almost done. Ninety-eight percent. Oh, damn. This is mostly a lot of walls we got to deal with. The I weird thing about it is like 
the fact that it's just the golf course that's hit by yeah, it? Yeah, that's why it's so freaky, because everything immediately outside is perfectly clean and beautiful. Castle mini pot. Although this feels a little bit weird in hindsight after having watched the Burger Bob's Burgers movie. The Burger Bob movie. Oh, is that good? It is, it's fun. It's not like the most amazing film ever made, but if you like the TV show, then it's a fun movie. Yeah, I do like the TV show. I just haven't gotten around to watching the movie. I watched the, the new Predator movie. Oh, we haven't seen it yet. Good. That's on the list. I like it. It's good, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna sort of go up and see if I can jump down. To the roof area. Kinda worked. Ding, ding. So many things. Ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> oh, you know what I've not been to in ages? What? Freaking arcades. Do arcades still exist in the UK? They do, but now they're all on, like, they're all done by, like, prepaid cards. Oh. Uh, except for the beachfront, because the, the beachfront... Um, I feel like a lot of the drive of the tourism there is like nostalgia, so you still got all the two penny arcades and the cheap machines and stuff. But most like city arcades now are these like you get a card and you put ten pounds on it, and then you use the card to do the machines. Yeah, but I've not been to one in forever. I like have I have the the desire to just go to the arcade on my own and be like, yeah, I'm an adult. I'm here alone. Load up my oh. card, let me add it. Alright, we have to go find all the little bits now. This is where you have to start tapping tab like a mother. Yeah, I've been I've been doing that a lot. You could also, if I remember correctly, hit escape and select the ones that are not done yet. So. Yes. If you're not near them though, it can be very hard to work out what it's trying to point you to. Because, like, the, the dirt is small. So small. Despite this being basically nothing, I will feel like I've achieved a lot today when we finish this. <laughs> the reality is I've played a video game for an hour or whatever, but... It feels like... It feels like I've done something important. People are going to be able to play their mini golf thanks to us. Ah, uh, yes, the importance of a clean mini golf. I demand my money back if my mini golf course isn't clean. Yes! Castle, internal walls. Woo! These poles. Stone while I'm here. They're very strict on their cleaning, uh, their cleaning requirements, aren't they? Like, can a human being actually tell if this tiny bit in between these big stones is clean? Yeah, I guess so. Where's the ladder? Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh uh, yeah, we left it up near the top. There we go, I, I force grabbed it. Ah, oh, nice. I think I need it down here to... Just like in your training. Why have you not pinged yet? What's still dirty on you?
Good thing about doing all of this cleaning with water is you get a lot of little rainbows. Lovely little rainbows. Ooh, I can see the back of a flag that's very dirty over there. Hmm. Let me see. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, ah. six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Oh, jeez, lots of keep. Right, what's this? Castle keep turf roof. What's this one here? Spamming the tab button. Oh! Ding. 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 Staying low to the ground. Ding ding ding. Ding 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 ding. Let's see, what's the least clean thing in here? Oh, hello. Hello, oh. sunshine. There's a portcullis that's only 72% clean. 72%? As it shambles. What is a portcullis again? That's, that's like a. Uh, that's like the pointy bit on a castle, right? Pointy little bit. Thought, but none of them are lighting up as the one I'm looking for. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. What? I'm gonna get RSI anyway just from pressing the tab button so many times. <laughs> How is this not clean? What's missing? What are you what what do you want? What do you want from me? My posture is terrible right now because I'm like leaning and squinting to try and see all of the <laughs> yellow dots. Dang. That's why I use it. I go to escape and I select. Lights up and wide. Oh, cave coins, only 48% clean. <gasps> that must be the dragon's hole. Oh, it's these ones over here. Oh. Is that clean? You clean? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Cave coin clean. clean. Cave coin clean. Cave coin clean. Oh, we're dinging. We do be dinging. The whole cave coin's clean. suddenly becomes a detective game, trying to figure out what's not clean. That's what I was saying, escape, and you can see your list. What's... The only problem is you can't order them in kind of... Yeah, I just kind of want to know what near me is not clean, you know. Just mashing them. Oh, right. sorry. After you. Okay, fine, let's use the escape thing. Where Battlement wall. Oh! Oh! The game session was closed by the host. It was? Apparently oh. so! Apparently so, I got booted out. Error, connection timed out. Oh dear!